Bugs are a common place in video games, going back to the days where the Milkman existed, all the way until modern day, where we have AAA studios milking their customers and serving them up a plate of T-poses and missing textures. Some bugs are especially great, while others are a deterrent to the experience. There's bugs that can hit both senses. And there's bugs that are so bad, you just open the curtains, look outside, and realize it's a perfect day for a PC to be out the window. However, some bugs make the player say, Laser tag? Today, we talk about the beautiful mess that was Laser Tag Weekend. The wildest weekend Destiny 2 ever had to deal with, and one that I don't think anyone could have seen coming for the time. We may now have some aliens flying around with infinite 1k, but this time to kill in the first year of the game would make even the most non-existent hairs stick straight up. This weekend and weapon is still one for the history books and will always be remembered as such. So, without further ado, let's meet Laser Tag Weekend. Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video, as well as the music too. Atrax display still on sale. Oh, hey, also subscribe if you're new. Look, YouTube Analytics says to. See those? Yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Enjoy the video. In Destiny 1, and if you were lucky, there may have been a certain weapon at the end of the raid. This weapon was called the Vex Mythoclast. Vex Mythoclast was absolutely busted and only dropped from Atheon on hard mode of Vault of Glass. A primary fusion auto rifle hybrid shooting solar and vaporizing everything in its path. Datto made a now infamous video on the Vex Mythoclast where he describes it like this. Should the most difficult weapon to get in the game be slightly stronger in PvP compared to other weapons? I'd say slightly, yes, for the average everyday random crucible games. But this weapon's current state is, it's broken as hell. Especially after I was on the other side of this weapon when it was on the enemy teams and not mine. In Datto's video, you can see Vex Mythoclast destroying people with 45 per hit to the body and 56 to the head. With 56 in the magazine alone! <clears throat> and... Rampage to stack more damage after a kill! Vex Mythoclast was so busted, but its charm was in the fact that it was a rare drop from the finale of Pinnacle content. So dying to it, while annoying, was not a very common place in the Crucible. Those who were lucky enough to use this weapon knew of its power and knew that it was only a matter of time before it was going to be nerfed. But Bungie let Vex stay very powerful for a lot longer than fans of the game may have wanted, having the Mythoclast busted busted for a solid month. So the nerf was Bungie reducing the weapon's base damage by 34% on top of auto rifles being nerfed as well. The Vex Mythoclast would see even more nerfs over time, with not only fusion rifles being nerfed, but auto rifles too, making its return in Rise of Iron a uh, sort of lackluster. Still pretty good though. Now, Mythoclast may have been a busted ass weapon in its debut, but somehow, some way, there was an even more powerful weapon to be released. In Destiny 2, of course, Curse of Osiris of all times, this could have happened, the Prometheus Lens would make its debut. On December 5th of 2017, Curse of Osiris was released, a very notoriously bad time for Destiny 2, 
and one that had many longtime fans of Destiny leave the game, period. Still, to never have come back since. Guys, it was that bad of a time. One saving grace in the first week of the expansion was the Prometheus Lens, however. New to Destiny 2, and one of two trace rifles introduced to the franchise, Prometheus Lens was supposed to work with gaining a larger beam on the target the longer the trigger was held. And if you got the kill, your ammo was refilled from the reserves. However, if you got lucky on the release of the expansion, or just grinded public events, because that was the only way to gain exotics back then, really, then the lens was less of a hold the trigger for a kill, and on that first week, more of a tap the trigger. Seriously, this thing... Just... just watch. Articles were made, and community managers had to respond immediately. You may have wondered then, well, in Trials, what the hell could have happened? Was Trials really a mess with people who got lucky? Or was this about to be disabled? The gun was already dominating the Crucible, but surely it couldn't be in Trials. Surely Zur couldn't sell the gun. Well, on December 7th of 2017, User John Census took on the ultimate bet because there was zero chance, surely, that Zer would ever sell the lens. Census said that, quote, if Zer sells Prometheus lens tomorrow, I will shave my head and glue the hair to my face as a beard. The community went wild over Census's claim, and the post still has over 17,000 upvotes if it adds anything to my point. Now, Bungie also wanted to see Census get a nice thick beard, so on Twitter they said that, quote, Did you make a bet that we wouldn't let Xur sell Prometheus Lens? It's available in the EDZ. Your move. Before you ask, <sighs> No, Census didn't come through on his side. Very not surprising in this meta of Reddit, since everyone was doing this, and actually Census wasn't asked to everyone who asked about it. So unfortunately, that's where the story ended for him. But Bungie did come through with the most busted weapon to ever hit the Crucible, Prometheus Lens, at Xur, Friday morning. Trials of the Nine was not the same after this one hit. Imagine it like this. You show up to little Timmy's birthday party with a regular sunshot in hand. Everything is normal. Kids shooting kids with a normal Destiny 2 time to kill. Timmy's mom then brings out his present from Uncle Zer. These are from the Nine. What's in the box, Tim? And let me see what you have. Prometheus Lens. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull up. Prometheus Lens. You know it was broken. But damn, if it wasn't fun to just mow people over. Especially given that Destiny 2 was in a state of stale, boring, and uninspired. Laser Tag Weekend being the coin term was the Wild West for the game again, giving people memories of Myth the Class brokenness, the Thorn Last Word Hawkmoon Trials metas, and just being a reminder that even the developers can have fun knowing that the bugs would eventually get patched. Thank you, Laser Tag Weekend. For being the one I don't think anyone forgot about. Yep. I'm looking at you right now through the screen. Yes, you. You already knew this was coming. A bungee fixed Prometheus lens. On the Tuesday after Laser Tag Weekend, Bungie had a, quote, substantial nerf, overcorrecting and lowering its weapon damage well below where it probably should be. Given the short window we had to make an emergency fix, Bungie said on Twitter yesterday, Prometheus Lens will be adjusted to be way too weak. In January, this new exotic will receive a proper, play-tested design pass. Not only was this an expected nerf, 
But Bungie coming forward and admitting they didn't playtest this weapon was kind of funny looking back at it now, but I digress. Bungie did eventually, over a year later, announce an emblem for players who participated in Laser Tag Weekend with a very fitting look. A laser going through a skull that was named Prismatic Inferno. Still one of the coolest emblems to ever be made, and at the end of Forsaken is when it was released. This emblem went with another emblem that we will save for another video one day, but I just love that this was made. To always remember one of the wildest weekends to ever hit Destiny 2. Prometheus Lens would obviously never be as strong as it was back then, but it did eventually get a few small tuning adjustments, and as of very recently, we have some armor mods that work with trace rifles. So maybe we'll see Prometheus Lens get used some more? Who knows? Either way, that is the Prometheus Lens and Laser Tag Weekend. A shorter video, but an important story nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy this one, come watch my stream, twitch.tv slash devinf1997. I promise you, you will love it. My community is amazing. Subscribe if you're new here. YouTube Analytics says to hit the freaking sub button. And of course, check out the displays in the second YouTube channel. Anyways, enjoy the bloopers, everyone. Peace out. Mmm. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the... F That's not right! Actually, talk about No Neck. This is the Clyde Drip. You like the Clyde Drip? He just, he literally knows, he just doesn't fall.